It's your boy Shimagami X, aka Captain Captain X, your leader of Squad X and your president of Squad Double Zero. I'm a little bit under the weather today, so we're going to keep things a little bit informal. So today, what I'm going to be reviewing for you is Bleach Chapter 608, entitled Darkness from the Blackest of Black. Alright, but before we get into the review, you already know how things go. We have to cue that intro. So nonetheless, let's do this. Alright guys, now I've read two translations of this um, of this week's chapter and naturally the manga stream translation was much better than the manga panda translation. It added more depth to the story and even the way that it um, explained things, especially with the very first uh, page of the chapter. The very first page of the chapter seems to be somewhat out of context with the rest of the chapter, which is something that the average reader will have somewhat of a gripe with. Um, and I, doing research, couldn't find any um, indications how the salamander, or the salamander's tail in fact, was at all relevant to Ichimonji and his powers. So speaking of Ichimonji, that's what the chapter. This that's what this chapter is mainly about. Is basically showcasing the powers of Ichimonji. And basically, what I found very interesting is if you go back to like more or less, I think it was the second page of this chapter. Um, Juha says that he basically, when he released his arm, told that he couldn't feel any reyatsu from him, which is which is uh, something that we should bear make a note of because you'll know that in Bleach, there, there's two instances where we can't feel reyatsu when an opponent can't feel another. Other, uh, an opponent can't feel their opponent's Reiatsu. Two instances. One, the opponent is either so weak in comparison to them that you know there's barely anything to feel, or two, they're at they've uh, elevated to another level, and that's where that's where the that's where the trick is. Um, I'm actually going to go out on a, on a limb and say that basically, um, I'm going to go out and, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that um, basically. This, oh, I forgot his name. Shit, how do I forget his name? Ichibei, Ichibei, oh my gosh. That's you know, that's you know I'm under the weather. How I forget the guy's name? That Ichibei, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that Ichibei, just by giving the context of what's been going on in the last three to four chapters, that he's on another level than Juha himself. That basically Juha is on a certain level to the stage where you can match him, but Ichibei with Ichimonji is on another level because I've seen, think about what he's doing. What he done to Juha by basically being able to match him in and it's like some what seems to be his best techniques, toe for toe without even releasing his Shikai. He's now released his Shikai and he seems to be like more or less mopping the floor of him. Like not only is he countering Juha's moves, he's now putting Juha in very sticky in a very sticky situation. And I see what Kubo has done here. It's clear to see that from this battle that um Ichibei is more powerful than Juha. Well, Juha in his current state, because we have yet to see Juha um, use the full extent of his powers, and we've yet to see him use his family holy form. So as of what Juha is um, displaying in terms of his powers right now, um, Ichibei is clearly stronger. But I like what Kubo has done with it. He's had Juha take away um, the powers of Ichimonji, which is basically the strength of uh, Ichibei, obviously minus Kido. So. Although it seems that Juha's gonna have a hard trouble controlling um, this power, just basically as you can see by the last panel of the chapter where Juha is shot and his face is being covered in black. Very similar to like what happens, what it looks like what happens on that like, holification. Anyways, with that being said, Juha is obviously gonna have a hard time controlling it, but I think what's gonna be the downfall of a uh, of Ichibe is that Juha's gonna eventually find some way to not somewhat control these powers but somewhat be able to overcome them and the fact that Juha has actually stolen away Ichibe's powers is what's gonna inevitably lead to his defeat that's what I predict and that's what I foresee um, because as things are progressing um, I don't see Juha being able to defeat Ichibe if he still had the powers of his Shikai because when the powers of his arm Pakuto in general because sure I believe Juha would be able to outmatch uh, Ichimonji and his Shikai if uh, he went to his final holy form or revealed you know some more of his powers because we have yet to know what the full extent of what Juha can do. Now, with that being said, this chapter was a very short read. Not a lot happened in this chapter. We got um, you know an understanding of what Ichimonji is and basically the way that his powers work, and they could be considered quite hacked, but they're not hacked in the context of this battle because you have to consider who he's facing. He's facing Juha, the leader of the Quincy's, and obviously the most powerful villain we have today. Debatable whether he's more powerful than Aiton in his, uh, you know, um, basically that um, Hogyoku butterfly form. Debatable, debatable, but that's a topic for another day. That's for you guys to decide in the comment section below. Um, 
other than that, there really isn't much more to talk about in this chapter. We'd have to wait to see how things progress. But the way things are progressing, I like it. I like what Ichibei is um, doing, like he's putting in the work. He's putting in more work than Yamamoto did. And I know that some people are going to have a gripe with me about that. Some people are not going to agree with me about that. But the bottom line is, he's been more effective against Juha Bark than Yamamoto um, was. That's the bottom line. Yamamoto used his Bankai and he got he got cut, like, cut down by Juha. Yes, he had his Bankai stolen, but you can quite evidently see that Ichibe is more effective in his Shikai and even before releasing his Shikai than Yamamoto was or any other Shinigami has been against Juha thus far. Obviously, we know how the story is going to go. It's going to be Ichigo that ends up defeating Juha in the end, which is why I think Kubo has been very clever in the way that he's um, organized and the way he's organized his latest few chapters in the sense that he's had Ichibei showcase what he can do, he's had Juha showcase what, um, what he can do to, to some extent. Obviously, the full power of um, Ichibei hasn't been revealed yet because you have yet to see his Bankai or anything of that nature, but we see that he's a formidable opponent, that he's able to do his work um, with Juha, but the way he's done it in terms of having Juha actually be able to take away his powers was a good move on the on insofar as story progression or basically aiding the story progression, especially in terms of this fight, because that's the way I see things are going to go. Juha is going to have a hard time dealing with um, the power of Ichibonji and like the way it works and whatnot. Eventually, he's going to gain control of it or be able to suppress it in some way or form um, after it does something significant to him. Then, he's going to basically unleash his wrath on what would seem to be a defense Ichibe that has his powers taken away. That's just the bottom line of it. So, it seems like a very short review because quite evidently, it was a short chapter. Yeah, and... And that's the thing, when a chapter is filled with action, they tend to feel shorter because there's not much dialogue going on. Yes, we had um, quite a reasonable amount of dialogue considering that we had the explanation of each emoji and just that's more or less it. Hope you guys have enjoyed my review today, guys. It's your boy Shin Megami X, aka Captain Captain X, leader of Squad X and president of Squad Double Zero. Like I said, I hope you guys have, guys have enjoyed my review. I'm going to have another video out later on today talking about uh, Naruto the Last, but that's, a, that's for another time. So anyways, guys, I'll see you guys later. As you always know, I'm signing out, take care and peace and remember, keep it 99 plus one, you do the math.